My buddy Josh just hit on something and I had to share it. I had to, had to get into this. When you go to the gym, it makes sense to do something you're good at. We all like doing something we're good at. Whether it be a softball playing guy, he likes to play softball in the season. Whether it be basketball, you go to the gym and you want to play basketball. Uh, whatever sport you're good in, whatever job you have, whatever in life generally you're good at, it's what you like doing. And in the gym, you got to get rid of that. Yes, come over here and do your favorite exercises. But if you don't mix it up, if you're not watching some of the variations, if you're not learning from, from some of the different moves, then your, 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 your muscles won't grow. You'll hit that plateau. Everybody talks about it. I mean, there, you can say, okay, well, um, I added more weight. That is definitely changing the workout. Okay, that, that is a solid theory. By, by doing more weight or, my reps of this, or more reps of the same exact exercise is changing it. But it's not as effective as actually changing and manipulating that exercise to a different one to hit the same head or the same muscle group. So, you hit on that yeah, earlier. One of the things to add to that as well is, um, you know, stepping outside your comfort zone. I know we talked about this several times, but, you know, there's certain exercises that feel good. And I tend for myself and stuff that I share and variations doing stuff that's uncomfortable. Like the one that Dale was doing here a minute ago at the press um, was definitely outside of any one of our comfort zones, which feels really weird. But the second and third, fourth time you do it, it becomes more natural, which is basically you're, you're making a weak muscle group in your shoulder um, a strong point. And um, the priority factor, we, we all want to work on a balanced physique. So creating... Um, an area where you're working on your weak points to make them strong points, that's going to build you a balanced physique and overall body and that's what we're all really trying to achieve here. And um, not getting in the, the comfort area of, oh, I do these every time and they feel great. Like, do the ones that don't feel comfortable and you don't like because that's 99% of the time that's the one you need to work on. Uh, perfect example, chin-ups behind the back or chin-ups in general. Most people don't have a back because they don't like doing them. Why? Because it's your body weight. You're over there, whatever you weigh, and you got some 160 pound, <laughs> I don't need to rock on people. <laughs> you got some skinny kid up there doing up downs on the damn thing and he can do 30. And you roll into 200 pounds, whether you be 10, 15% body fat or, or even six. Chin ups are hard. So you don't look that cool doing them. You know, I can wreck out a set of 10, maybe 15 on a very good day. And then my numbers are all the way down. And yet I see this little skinny kid over here rocking out however many. So that's the point, is you end up doing things to word it exactly oppositely, you end up avoiding things you're not good at. Take it from him, take it from Dell, take it from myself, please. If you just do the stuff you're not good at, you'll be the most proud of those gains, of those results. The first time I could do chin, ten uh, chin-ups, I was more excited than when I hit a 300 pound bench press. You would not think that, right? Because this is what everybody cares about. Uh-uh, that other one I had to work really, really hard for.